Hello everyone, Silver here. Welcome to part 2 of my Fred tutorial series. In the last video we ended up with a barebone mission that is, at least in theory, playable and will mechanically work. In the second part of the series we will now take this mission, flesh it out, polish it, so it is more than just a barely playable mission. And one way of doing that is improving the storytelling qualities of the mission. We already have a command briefing, a briefing and a debriefing, but during the actual mission there's very little at the moment, and that's what we want to change now. So we open the events editor and start creating messages. Messages are pieces of dialogue that pop up during the mission and help advance the story or comment on certain things that happen in the mission and in general are the storytelling option during the course of the mission. If you have pre-scripted your mission, you may already have all the dialogue pieces you need. I have, so I can just copy them into the events editor. Each message also has a name, which is an identifier for that message, and I use a short descriptive name for that, followed by the person or the character that speaks that message. So, for example, A1, as you can see here, is Alpha 1, which is the ship of the player, so that is a piece of dialogue set by the player character, while D is another character that has the name Donovan, so that's the D. C, for example, is the command authority of um, our characters, so the mission oversight authority that commands or gives orders. And like that I can quickly see who is the person saying that specific message, which is important in the next step when we add the messages to the event, so we um, select the right source for a message, and it also helps by selecting the right animation file, so the right talking head, which is especially important for messages coming from command or large capital ships, because those characters usually don't wear helmets, in contrast to fighter pilots, so if those faces change during one mission, it is kind of inconsistent and can really show that you did not pay proper attention to this detail. Once all the messages are written, you should close and reopen the events editor, because then it updates itself, making it easier to select the messages when you create the associated events. The sex piece for sending messages are under change, messages and personas, send message or send message list. The first one sends a single message, the second one sends a sequence of messages in specific delays. The single message sex P has three parameters, the source of the message, a priority and the actual message. The message list sex P has more parameters and they can be grouped into groups of four. The first three ones are the same as for the single message sex P, the fourth one is the delay from the previous message. So as you can see I give those parameters one at a time. The delay I have to calculate or think of myself how long would a message take to be spoken for example and that's the delay I give for the fourth parameter here. You can create events specifically for messaging lists like for example here the begin message list but you can also reuse existing events and add message sex piece to them so that the characters in the mission comment on the progress of the mission at specific events. And also keep in mind to think of messages for failing conditions so that the characters not only comment on the success but also on the failure of a mission. Okay, enough about messages, what else is there? You can also think about the behavior of the ships and characters in your mission. You can for example set initial orders to the ships involved and then use events to change them based on the things that happen in your mission. For example here I've set the initial orders for my friendly wings to stay with a player character at the beginning. Then after several seconds and a little bit of dialogue those orders are changed via events so that the friendly ships start a direct attack run on the enemy ships. That reflects the dialogue in which the enemy ships are given a chance to surrender but they do not take it and so the friendly team starts their attack. So this is kind of the fleshing out 
thing I talked about. Now let's come to the more detailed options, the polishing of the mission. And there are several options where you can put the finishing touch to your mission so it feels complete and thought through. You can for example add squadron logos to friendly and enemy wings so it looks like they are part of a real flight organization that has a logo. You can add animations to your command briefings so they are illustrated by some short little film snippet. You can add the color markup to your briefing and command briefing text so the player at one glance can see to which faction a um, specific object in this briefing belongs by coloring it red or green for example. Or you could change the background details for the mission. You may have a setting for the system the mission takes place in, but you could add planets or move them, move the sun or suns if there are several in your mission. So the player gets the impression that they are at a different position within the same system. The overall background may not change, but the details can. For example, if you tell the player that their mission takes place near a planet, then this planet should be somewhere in the map so the player can actually see it. And pay attention to detail here. Rotate the planet bitmap so the bright part faces towards the sun. So it is a realistic impression that the part facing the sun is actually the bright part of the planet and the dark part is faced away from the sun. So those are all the small things you can change in the mission setup directly to improve it. And then comes the most crucial part of all, an extensive period of playtesting. And here you have to check several things. First of all, does the mission actually work? I said earlier that the mission you have might in theory work. Now you have to check if it actually does. You might have already done that in the first part, but now with all the changes, with the dialogue you have added, you have to check that again, especially the dialogues, if they come at the right time and if they come in the right sequence and with adequate delays between each message. And then comes the balance part. You have to play through your mission several times to check if the difficulty is correct. When I started playtesting this mission we created here, I noticed that my AI companions died very quickly. In all of the runs I made, only myself and the Alpha 2 character, which is Guardian and cannot die, remained after some time. I checked it and I identified several factors that made this so deadly for my AI companions. And then I adapted. I reduced the number of waves of the enemy wings. I increased the delays between the wings. I changed the weapon loadout for the station and removed several of the more dangerous flak turrets. I changed the weapon loadout for the enemy wings because they were too powerful and were able to destroy my um, AI companions very quickly once they arrived. I changed several flags of elements in my map. So for example the cargo containers became protected so my companions do not waste time destroying them. I also noticed that it took too long to destroy all the turrets of the station so I removed several of them. I also changed the team loadout for the friendly team so they have disruptor cannons which are more efficient in destroying subsystems. So what I want to say here is that while I definitely recommend that you script your mission ahead of time and think it through before you start creating it, you then have to check if it actually does work and if it doesn't, then change it and adapt it so it does work, even if that means that you have to rethink things and change things. And by the end of that you should have a mission that is playable, that does work and that feels kind of real as real as a game can feel. And if you have a character focused mission then all of that should help you that those characters really drive the mission and tell the story. So now we have our mission but there's one crucial point that I have talked about very briefly in the last video and that's the events. Events are what makes the mission go and so we should have a look at them in detail. And that's exactly what our next video is all about where we will have a look at each and every event, check it what it's for and how does it work. So stay tuned for that. So far, thank you for watching. See you in this next video if you like to. Until then, take care and goodbye.